It's the race that shocked the sport and beyond. Saturday night, famed NASCAR driver Tony Stewart was competing in a dirt track race in upstate New York. But on lap 14 of the 25-lap event, fellow driver Kevin Moore Jr. seems to get cut off by Stewart, forcing him into the wall and spin out. It's racing. You come out to the track, you jump on that track, you know, you expect the best, hope, expect the worst, hope for the best. But moments later, amateur video obtained by CNN shows Ward Jr. exiting his car and walking back onto the track, which had slowed for a yellow flag pointing fingers and presumably in frustration at Stewart. It's then that Stewart's car struck and killed Ward Jr. He was pronounced dead a short time later at a local hospital. This is right now being investigated as an on-track crash and I don't want to infer that there are criminal charges pending. I would only uh, say that uh, the investigation uh, when it's completed, we will sit down with the district attorney and review it. But I want to make it very clear, there are no criminal charges pending at this time. This is an ongoing investigation. Stewart, a three-time NASCAR champion, was questioned last night. Today, he was scheduled to race in Watkins Glen, New York. But a short time ago, his race team made this announcement. It's just an unbelievable tragedy. Um, our hearts go out to um, obviously Kevin and his family. Um, thoughts and prayers. This is, a, this is a very tough, very emotional time for everybody. Um, his family, our family at Stewart Haas, um, Tony Stewart. So, um, you know, with that being said, we feel that um, as a group, um, Tony will not drive today. And reaction has been widespread. NASCAR today issued this statement. Our thoughts and prayers go out to the family, friends, and fellow competitors of Kevin Ward Jr. We support Tony Stewart's decision to miss today's race, and we will continue to respect the process and timeline of the local authorities, and will continue to monitor this situation moving forward. The sport mourning the loss of one of its own, while many questions still remain about its most famous. And for the first time since the incident, we are hearing from Tony Stewart. This just into CNN. I want to read this statement on the death of Kevin Ward Jr. It says from Tony Stewart, there aren't words to describe the sadness I feel about the accident that took the life of Kevin Ward Jr. It's a very emotional time for all involved and it is the reason I've decided not to participate in today's race at Watkins Glen. My thoughts and prayers are with his family, friends, and everyone affected by this tragedy. 